Hi, in this video we take black and white photography to the next level with this Lightroom Quick Tip. Hi, I'm Adam and welcome to First Man Photography, the channel that will help you take your photography to the next level. In this video I'm going to be using Adobe Lightroom and if you haven't done so yet you can check that out by hitting the link down below where you can get a free trial. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, so I've made a few videos before about black and white photography and a couple about how I process my black and white photographs. So I'll link you up to them down below so you can check them out. When I was filming my vlog the other day, I came back with the main image being the good, this nice black and white image of these rocks. I was in a rush when I was editing that picture because I wanted to get the video out the same day. So over the week, I've looked back at it and there was just some reason I just wasn't very happy with it. And then I realized it's because I haven't added the usual tone to that black and white photograph. So I thought I'd make a quick video and show you how adding a little bit of tone can really make them stand out from the crowd. I think the easiest thing to do is just get straight into the computer and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, so we go straight into Lightroom. We're already in the develop module. So there's two ways of doing this. Um, the first more manual way is to use the split toning. So just come down to the split toning here and you have two controls. You can control the, the highlights and the shadows. First thing, you just pick the color that you want to introduce into your image. So in this case, I'm gonna go for a little sort of bluey purple tone. And then you just start adding the saturation in and then then it affects the highlight. You can go really crazy and add too much and then it looks ridiculous, but adding those really subtle changes to your image will really, I think, take it to the next level. So that's the highlights. And then I, you can add a um, color from a different area and that will affect the shadows in that area, but I don't like that. That's why it's called split toning, but I generally find that you get some really good results from having a very similar tone to that of the highlights obviously subtle changes, drag it down, and then you can really start to see the difference that's making. You can compare it just by switching off the split toning and it takes you back to the original image like that. Add, turn it back on again. And like I said, I think that does take the image to another level for me personally anyway. So the second way you can do it is to use the Google Nick collection. This is my second image. Again, I think it works really well in black and white. But with this brick, adding a little red tone to it will work really well. So the way I'm going to do it is go to right click, edit in, and then use Silver Effects Pro from the, to, from the Google Nick collection. So just load that up. So that loads up into Google Nick collection, which is now free. So go ahead and download that from Google. I've already edited this photo outside of the Nick collection. So just come down to the finishing adjustments here. And I'm just gonna come down to the toning panel here, expand that, and then I want that reddish tone, like I said, so I'm gonna to come to the copper tone here. And as you can see, that adds a really nice red tone to the image. And you have a slightly deeper one there, and I think that actually is quite powerful now. So I'm gonna select that and leave it there. But you can see there's lots of different colors there with sort of coffee color, cyanotype, blue toner, and they're there for you to experiment with, really simple to do. And like I said, I think it takes your black and white photographs to the next level. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Do you just prefer standard black and white? Do you prefer the red or the blue tones? Do you like the sound of the split toning? Or do you like the Google Nick collection tones better? Have you used this as well? Let me know, I really want to hear from you. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's videos going up every Wednesday and every Sunday, and I'll see you on another video very soon. I'm Adam, this is First Man Photography, out.